every month, they came, a doctor and a nurse. And uh, throughout the two years, they were attending to him. Of course, there were times when, uh, I suppose this is the stages of the problem. And uh, if I find it too difficult to handle, I can always call them out and put him inside. No matter how much time and care you give to your loved one, sometimes their illness cannot be managed at home. If this is what happened to your loved one, you may want to consider to stay in an inpatient hospice. Doctors and nurses at hospices are specially trained to treat the symptoms your loved one is facing, such as pain, breathlessness and vomiting. Some patients in the inpatient hospice are able to go back home when their symptoms are well controlled. Sometimes they can go on home leave or when the family are ready, they can be discharged. There are four inpatient hospices in Singapore, Assisi Hospice, Bright Vision Hospital, Dover Park Hospice and St Joseph's Home. They all have doctors and nurses who help patients with pain relief and other symptoms that are caused by their illness. They also have counsellors and social workers to journey with the patient and their families. But their facilities and services are slightly different, so it's important to choose one that suits you and your loved ones. It is common to experience a range of emotion when your loved one requires hospice care. Medical social worker from our hospital or hospice can give you professional help as you cope with caregiving issues, grief and loss. We can also offer practical concerns such as healthcare costs, while MediSafe can be used in hospice inpatient and outpatient care. Medical social worker may provide financial assistance if you face further difficulty. He took it quite well. He didn't shed tears. I think he was also more or less prepared. Actually, I had peace of mind during the two years because I know help was at hand and uh, I really don't have to do much. Once he's in the hospice or in the hospital, he's being taken care of. 